it's my pleasure to meet you all with this video with the mathematics chapter 1 of the 10th standard textbook ssc board telangana and andhra pradesh the first chapter is real numbers the real numbers consists of rational numbers irrational numbers integers whole numbers and natural numbers today we are going to learn euclid's division algorithm what is euclid's division algorithm do not get confused or it's it's nothing complicated it's very uh, simple so in the previous video i told you about division right any number which is divided is called the dividend whichever is dividing is a divisor and the answer or the output is a quotient and whatever number is remaining is a remainder right so here we are with the chapter real numbers and in that we are with euclid's division algorithm this Euclid's division algorithm says is for any pair of positive integers a and b the pair goes such that a equal to bq plus r right a is the dividend b is the divisor q is the quotient and R is the remainder. So, this says that any number whichever is divided by another number. When A is divided by B, what happens is the resultant is the quotient. We get the quotient. The resultant is such that A is nothing but A is the product of B and Q, dividend and quotient and the sum of the remainder and now look let's have an example if it is 18 divided by 4 let's do 18 divided by 4 so what would we do 4 4 is a 16 the remainder is 2 right so how would we write 18 equal to b that is b is nothing but 4 into what is our Q? Q is again 4 plus what is our remainder? 2. A equal to B into Q plus R. Here we see that the R, the remainder is always less than B. That is this remainder should always be less than B because if it is more than B or equivalent to B, naturally you will say 4 5s are 20 or it may be again you will add a number 4 1s are 4 and again you will go proceed with the um, calculation. So when the remainder ultimatum comes the remainder should be equivalent to 0 and less than B. So R is always less than B. Right. So what is our R? 2. 2 is 2 less than 4. So this equation should satisfy for every positive integer that is what Euclid's division algorithm says. Now let's get into the exercise in the textbook. One of the applications of this Euclid's division algorithm is to find the HCF of two numbers. Right. Now here I would like to solve the last sum of each bit. So the first bit of the exercise 1.1 the sum is find the HCF of 1651 and 2032. How do we go about it? Now look at the two numbers. Which is the bigger one? Is 1651 bigger or 2032 bigger? So here 2032 is bigger. So first write down the formula. What is the algorithm? Uh, division algorithm. Euclid's division algorithm is... A equal to BQ plus R, where R is 
less than B. Right? Now, as here 2032 is a bigger number, we go this way. 2032 is equal to 1651 into what? So we have to divide 2032 by 1651. So this is 60 and this is 20. So 16 twos are you get 32. But it's not possible. So ones are 1651. What do you get? 2 minus 1, 1. 13 minus 5. 8, 9 minus 6, 3, 1 minus 1, 0. So, 1651, this is B into Q. What's our Q? 1. And what's our remainder? 381. Right? And now, in the next step, what happens is, this becomes our A and this becomes our B. That is, 1651 is it? Equal to 381 into what? So we have to divide 1651 by 381. So here it is 3, here it is 16. So it may be 3 fives are 50 or 3 fours are. So we have to try. What is that? 381 into 5. 5 ones are 5, 5 eights are 40, 4. 5 things are 15, 19 that's bigger, 381 into 4, 4 ones are 4, 4 eights are 32, 3, 4 threes are 12, 1, 5, 2, 4. So 381 into 4 will give you 1, 5, 2, 4. So what do we get? 11 minus 4, 7. 4 minus 2, 2. 6 minus 5, 1. So it gives you 381 into 4 plus 127. Okay. In the next step, what happens is this becomes your A and this becomes your B. So what do we do here? 381 is equal to 127 into what? So we have to divide 381 divided by 127. 381, 127. So it is 100. Here it is 300. Let's try with 3. 127 into 3. 3 sevens are 21. 2. 3 twos are 6. Plus 2, 8. 3 ones are 3. Yes, exactly. We got it. 127 into 3. 381. The remainder is 0. So 127 into 3 plus 0. So as a 0 comes, here we end because our B is now, we cannot replace. So here this is the end of this calculation. Whenever you get 0, you stop it. And what is the HCF here? Here the HCF is 127. So 127 is the number which exactly divides 1651 and 2032. This is how we find the HCF of two numbers using division algorithm of Euclid. Hope you understood this. Meet you again with the next bit in the next video. Thank you.